So, what's new with you, Kratos? Murdered any good pantheons lately? Devastated any populations with the cataclysmic consequences of your actions? Turned on any once trusted allies? You simply must bring me up to speed on your latest saga of blood-soaked vengeance. I am that no longer. You don't mean to say you've gone soft. Never believe it. Once a Spartan, always a Spartan. No, there's no fooling me, Kratos. You know what they say. You can't hide in the shadows from a sun god. At least, that's what they should say. Core is looking a little more familiar, isn't it? A mighty chain. Auspicious sign. You've always had such luck with chains. <laughs> this is all gonna work out just great for you. I can feel it. Now this room must really take you back. Wasn't this the Chamber of Sacrifice? <laughs> where you let an Athenian soldier burn to a crisp just so you could get past the room? Oh, those madcap early days. How you must miss them. Kratos! You mean to sacrifice me? Again? Oh! 
Seems you'll need to push me along to get anywhere. Oh, good. You're making eye contact as you push me towards my demise. What a special little personal touch. Really lets me know where I stand. Especially after such a long and agonized deliberation over what to do. Oh, how reluctant you'll tell people you were to sacrifice me to the flame. <laughs> Come on, you won't get very far without... I hate to disappoint you, you blithering idiot. But you do remember I'm a sun god, right? You think I'm afraid of a little fire? Don't threaten me with a good time, Kratos. Maybe I'll be infused with power and achieve my final form. Maybe I'll explode and take you with me. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see. Another push. Let's go. Okay, seriously, Kratos, get me out of this cage. It's not funny anymore. I can't believe you mean to roast me on a whim, on a presumption that it's what Valhalla wants from you. Have you ever considered that maybe your instincts are just random thoughts that pop into your head, no more likely to be true than the next? Hmm? Maybe consider that. Quickly. going to incinerate me and see what happens? I swear, you haven't changed one solitary... Brother? What am I doing in here? Over here. Over here. What's that? No. No! Get me out of here. Brother. What is this? Help me! I'm trying! Do not panic. We will simply return to the gate. I don't think so. I think you've broken how Valhalla works. Oh. I think this is it, brother. Look at you. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, heal, dummy. You and Kratos would not. But you're safe now. Secret, I'm sorry. I've been so foolish. I... Later, love. <laughs> I need a moment. Ever in your debt. 
as I will be forever in yours. seen me worse. I'm not sure about that, boss. Hush. It's nothing air can't heal. <coughs> this could take some time. Go on, Kratos. Get back in there. And do what you need to do. Shh. Well, that was altogether bloody terrifying. One moment I'm in a forest, the next I'm in a cage full of fire. You changed it to Helios and back again. It was unpredictable. I'll say. I'm truly not sure if we've gone too far, or if we've come too far to stop. We are not stopping. I must face this. I know, brother. And they say you can't buy self-improvement. Memory of your past made manifest. Hmm. A dangerous memory. Oh! 
memory of Vanaheim now. Brother, I beg you not to remember the exploding plants. What did you say about a forest? You remember being elsewhere when Helios took your place? Aye. Yes, I didn't mention that while we were plummeting, but yes, I was in a forest. Much like that of my youth. Back on my old body, too. It was a bit dreamlike, to be honest. Hmm. Do you wish to return there? I can't say I don't. I'm concerned, but I'm more than curious. Guess my memories are fair game in here as well. Don't suppose they'll just stick to the pleasant ones, will they? Unlikely. This one wants a price from you, brother.
Come here. Tell me, what happened between you and Sigrun on the lake? Well, she was rowing past where you found her family treasury. Where we learned she cursed her brother over forbidden love. That's right. And as we rode by, I remember feeling grateful that the place was now deep underwater where she couldn't see it. And at that moment, she turned to me and she said, I think, Mimir, I might be smitten with you. I think maybe I want to kiss you. Mm. Mm. Indeed, brother. I mean, there's always been more to us than there's been the opportunity to explore. So much unspoken beneath the surface. But hard to name it so boldly. Uh, it took me a bit off guard. Sigrun, I am still waiting for the part where you spoke. In my defense, I only told her the truth as it struck me in the moment. I told her my feelings for her were deep as Rand's Hall and had been for as long as I'd known her. But just then a kind of revelation came over me. A sudden full clarity that it was vanity to imagine that I, as I am, could be enough for her as she is. So I heard myself tell her that I didn't think I could give her what she needed. Now, I have mad at you. Pile on, brother. I deserve it.
Sword isn't something full of terrible memories, I hope. What do you think? to ascend to the next area, if you're ready.
now. We must keep the primordial realms up here on the top shelf. It may be just for this try, but a little assist would be nice. We're up by those statues now. Judges, did you say? Perhaps the higher planes of Valhalla correspond to the deepest reaches of your memory. If I must carry you, make yourself useful. Say what you see in battle. Aye, aye, asshole.
<laughs> they locked you out. Guess we better poke around the old neighborhood. See what sorts of acquaintances are looking to reconnect. Floating eyeball tentacles? No to this. This one looks easy. If easy is what you're all about now. Enemies will only get tougher the longer you take here. It's challenge here. More challenge, more life. Did you need any primitive armed ruffians? We're on fire. That's a nice change of pace. Watch your left.
I do believe that's all of them. The way up should be clear. Job not hurrying. You do like your fights tougher after all. Heading back to the cage, are we? I guess my collar is giving you a second chance. <laughs> well, now it's a party. <laughs> Left side, more enemies coming! <laughs> What are you planning to do this time, Kratos? Wait, no, don't tell me. The suspense is honestly the only thing keeping me awake back here. <laughs> Here's a radical thought for you. Maybe it only counts as a sacrifice if you give up someone you value. I think we all know that's not me. Why are you here? Cyclops! Never guess their weak spot. Another weapon, uh, idiot! Brilliant move you've thought of. <laughs> um, Kratos? <laughs> Surely you're not supposed to.
Radar. Oh, where are we now? Tia. The invitation was yours. I would have signed it. But it was important you come here for your own reasons. Then you're not an illusion. You're in the flesh, old friend. What do you want? I know what you're wrestling with, Spartan. I understand it better than you realize. The shame. The doubt. The question. I could find no answer for until I came here. Lifetimes ago. Stepped through that door. What is in there? Oh. I'm not here to spoil that for you. Only to help you prepare. Why? Because I can. Because for us... Fighting occupies the body, while our minds work out the rest. Because... You're not ready. Yet. Show me. Johnny! Why exactly are you attacking us? Consider it a kind of trial by combat, Namir. Kratos can get the better of me. We'll know whose mind has done the work. Arms up! Focus, Kratos! <laughs> Self places a deficit upon his focus. He is impatient, emotional, easily surprised. A man at one with himself has a clearer mind, sharper instincts. That man is ready to win. That man is ready to progress. Great day, he's coming! Come on! 
Well done, Kratos. I yield. Good then. Perhaps you are ready now. Am I? Honestly, nobody can truly say that but you. Not only to survive, but to grow with every encounter. Making progress, I see. Shield Maiden. You've earned this. Yes, keep daring to chase what others think is impossible. I hear you like stories. I got one for you. I will hear. I wasn't born with the privilege of some of my sisters in arms. I wasn't bred for greatness. I was just the daughter of some poor innkeeper. Matter of fact, I wasn't even his. He just raised me after somebody left me there. I didn't have much going for me, but I had one thing. I wasn't afraid of anyone. If somebody was asking for a punch in the face, I never thought twice. Brought a heap of trouble on myself that way, it's true. But I sure learned how to fight. Enough for now. I'll pick that up later. <clears throat> Encouraging to know Valhalla wants to help. Valhalla quite the way you have. Sigrun. How fares your journey? We have uncovered our host. It is Tyr. Tyr? You say? Aye. And no projection, either. I never knew his connection to Valhalla was so strong. But then, he goes back further than I do. Fascinating. 